Feeders are a vital tool along with game cameras for hunters and land managers to inventory game and to identify specific deer in key areas. A challenge though with traditional battery operated feeders is putting corn or supplement on the ground is quickly ruined due to moisture. Redneck Blinds has solved this problem with the T-Post feeder. The T-Post feeder is designed to be mounted to a standard 7 foot T-Post or to a tree using ratchet straps. It's so simple but so effective. This feeder is lightweight and easy to set up in just a few minutes. The T-Post feeder is tough and durable. These things can take a beating. The reason is each T-Post is made from a heavy duty polyethylene material and can be adjusted from 34 to 60 inches with a standard 7 foot T-Post. You can also adjust the flow of corn with unique baffle design with the T-Post feeders. There are two ways to set up this feeder. First is with the standard 7 foot T-Post due to the groove in the back of the feeder which is designed to fit a T-Post perfectly. This will help prevent it from being pushed over or having movement when it's being used by game. The second way is to set it up with ratchet straps. The concave back and groove on the back of the feeder are made for ratchet straps to be mounted to a tree quickly and easily. The T-Post feeder has an 80 pound capacity and due to its design you can add other types of feed or supplement to the corn inside the feeder. Again, making it a perfect choice for remote places, or it allows you to quickly set up multiple feeders in several locations. The T-Post feeder is another very effective tool to help you be more prepared and more effective out in the field. For the ultimate in feeding simplicity, you need the Moultrie Feed Station. With no batteries, timers, or moving parts, this is easy to use. You simply strap it to a tree, fill it with up to 40 pounds of corn, powders, or other feed mixtures, and walk away, and it will do the job. The Moultrie Feed Station. Well, we're out here setting our feeders today. I get asked a lot of questions about our feeders, and I'd like to go over a few of them with you. Putting out your feeders uh, really should be determined, first of all, by your local regulations. You gotta make sure that you can put a feeder out and what time of the year you can put them out. Uh, secondly is the environment that they're in. The environment around, the way the climate is, and weather changing patterns and everything else should all play into the fact of when and where you should put your feeders. So uh, definitely play mother nature as a major factor. You know, the next question I get asked the most is why? Why do you feed? Um, supplement feeding is crucial in many parts of the country for the simple fact that Mother Nature is harsh. Uh, they need extra feed because in this environment especially, there is no food around. So we need to get feed into the deer so they can survive the winter. Uh, baiting is also part of it. In states that allow baiting, um, bringing them into a feeder and keeping the food in a good confined area is, is strategic and people use baiting as a, another necessary reason why they use feeders. Another question I get asked is where? Where do I place my feeders? Well that can be, a, there's a wide range of opinions on this. I really like to have mine where I can access my feeder really well. Um, I like to be able to use my gator or ranger to get to my feeder so I can easily load it up. Um, I also like to have it where I can uh, drive up and pull camera cards real easy off of it. So um, accessibility to me is a key factor. Uh, some people like to get close to bedding areas so their deer don't have to move much. Um, that, that can be had as well, but um, in my opinion I like to keep it kind of away from the trees so the rodents stay off of it and I get good accessibility to the feeders. So that's where I place my feeders. Another question I get asked is how do you set up your feeders? Our feeders are set up, they don't have any legs that come with them, so you need to use something that's either existing or you put out into the environment. Uh, our 40 pound feeder, for example, um, will attach to a T post, a fence post, a tree. Our 300 pound feeder will attach, will slide actually over the top of a 4x4 post, or you can actually cut off a tree about that size and slide it over that. Um, our 600 pound feeder they got here, you can put that over a 6x6 post or cut off a tree to that same size diameter. So. Uh, that's how our feeders go. They don't have legs that come with them. They actually are used with other apparatus in the wild. The question I get asked a lot is, how do you keep the rodents, raccoons out of your feeder? Well, um, the sheer design of it in itself was the basis for it, to keep that them away. Uh, that single post design that goes up into the center of the feeder 
really eliminates them from being able to climb up and get into the feeder. We took it to a whole nother level when we brought in the feeder sleeve. The feeder sleeve goes around that single post and really creates a big round circle that they can't grip onto. So between the sheer design of it and the feeder sleeve, uh, we keep most of the rodents out of there. I get asked a lot, uh, what feeds work best in our feeders? Well, you know, a wide range of them do. Um, all of our feed ports are adjustable, so they'll adjust flow. So depending on what size pellets or corn that you put in there, can all work well in our feeder. I personally like to use a corn pellet mix. Um, I'll put in 50% corn, mix it in well with a high protein pellet. Um, in our environment up here, they need both the fatty content and then also the protein. So, but uh, you'll find that most feeds that are on the market will work well in our feeders. All right, we got our feeders all set and filled up. We're back here in the blind. Um, this blind is not far from that feeder, so we can sit back and observe the deer. Um, I really like to do this to take an inventory of my herd and also just to see the activity that's going on in the off season. If you're gonna put up a hanging feeder this season, then you want it to last. And if you want it to last, then it needs to be a Moultrie Pro Magnum hanging feeder. This 30 gallon hanging feeder can hold up to 200 pounds of feed, and it will disperse that feed up to six times a day with run times between one and 20 seconds. This thing is rock solid and made to last. The Moultrie Pro Magnum Hanging Feeder. When you need a feeder that has all the options, yet gives you total flexibility, you need the new Deer Feeder Elite by Moultrie. This feeder has a digital timer that allows you to program up to six feedings a day, and you can adjust the height from five and a half to seven or even eight feet. It's got the quick lock design, which means you get a fast and tool free assembly. This feeder has it all. The new Deer Feeder Elite by Moultrie.